everybody, it's Crystal. So today I am bringing to you a collective haul over the past week or so. We have a little bit of everything in this haul. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So a couple days ago, um, I was out shopping and in the past year I've been really into Judy and Burke handbags and it just seems like we're meant to be. You know, some years it's like coaches everywhere or Juicy Couture's everywhere or, um, you know, like last year was Louis Vuitton was everywhere and I just kept getting them. And then this year it seems to totally be Dooney and Burke. Everywhere I go, it's either a really good deal or it's a bag that I can't say no to. So I picked up this really pretty bag. I loved this bag when I saw it. I mean, this bag to me was gorgeous. I know it's coming towards the end of summertime, but I still thought that this type of bucket tote would be perfect to end the summer with. And it's a canvas bag, like this part's canvas, and it's got navy accents. The um, shoulder straps are completely um, like fitted in their navy leather. It's got this gorgeous tassel accent right here, if you guys can see that. And it has a Dooney and Burke monogram all over it. And inside is what really made me fall in love with this bag. So inside, it is this really cute material or pattern I should say if you guys can see that it's like a picnic table and right here we have the Dooney and Burke um, little label on the zipper and then of course as in all Dooney and Burke's there is the uh, little hook for your keys and then along with that is the patent number and the tag of Dooney and Burke so next um, is from a store called Uwajimaya. I've mentioned it before, and it's a Japanese store here in Seattle. We're a very big Japanese uh, population here, and a very thick Japanese culture. And it's a food shopping center. I mean, it's huge. It takes up four city blocks. It's got a food shopping center of nothing but imported Japanese foods. It's got like a Barnes and Noble, but everything's in Japanese. Um, and it has an entire, it has like shiseido, it has an optical place, I mean it's got everything, but it has one entire section devoted to Hello Kitty, so I am there often, and I picked this up, it's just the cutest little journal, I'm getting into journaling for some reason, that's like my big thing right now, um, and I wanted to make it really fun, and on the back, it's just got little nerdy kitty with her cute little glasses, and just this Hello Kitty. So I really, really liked this. They had a couple different colors, um, but this was the only one of this one. So I thought that, that was really cute. Um, also from Wajimaya, there's another store in there. It's a beauty store where everything is imported from Japan. I picked up these, and they're false eyelashes, and I cannot read the package. <laughs> um, I'll show you a close-up of the package, and it's two lashes in one. And they are only a dollar fifty per box. Also from Daiso, and I used these a while ago, um, but I did want to like last weekend, I think. But I did want to show you these. They have these really cute Japanese imported nails, and I just want to show you the detailing on the nails, just how cool that is. I mean, they have these really intricate details. Like they reminded me of those cell phone covers that you can get that have all of the. Um, you know, like the Hello Kitty and the Chanel, like, uh, beads or whatever on them. I don't know what you really call it, but um, that's kind of what these nails reminded me of, like those really intricately decorated covers. So I got that. I had also gotten this Almay Pure Blends, and I got this, like, a week and a half ago. Um, just around, I think at Target I got this, I picked this up, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I really like it. It's very different. It's mattifying. It's number 100. And this is just a translucent matte. And there's the product. It's got a sifter. Um, what I really like about it is the, the packaging. Of course, the product inside is very good. But I love anything that comes in a little box like this. I think it's really cute. And it looks really nice to put up um, as a design. So the next thing I got, um, I'm really, really careful about the kind of makeup I use, especially around my eyes because I have very sensitive eyes, um, especially like on my skin for my face. I have very sensitive skin, so I can't really use a lot of inexpensive products that don't use high quality um, minerals or ingredients to make their makeup. And some do. Some use very good minerals and, and ingredients, but some don't. So I have to be very careful. Um, LA Colors, one of my best friends, Ruthie, uh, she's known as Pink Couture Mama on YouTube, 
I sent her a bunch of LA colors because she had wanted that. She can't get it where she's from um, in one, a couple of our swaps. And she just kept saying how great it was and she really liked it. So I thought, you know, um, she she's never steered me wrong in the past. So I go, went ahead and bought a little palette of my own. And I actually really like it. I mean, it goes on super smooth. This is the palette I got and it's BEP 421 Traditional. Here's the um, colors. They are really pigmented which made me very happy. Next, um, I finally went to Walmart. We don't have one in Seattle. Um, we have like Targets and Fred Meyers and stuff. We have to drive like an hour out of the city to go to Walmart. Anyways, I went crazy with hard candy products. So I was really excited because I um, love hard candy. And again, my best friend Ruthie on YouTube, Pink Tour Mama, got me into hard candy. And she started off by sending me like a shadow here and there or um, like a little mini primer. And I fell in love with hard candy primer. Um, so I went there today to the big Walmart and the big outlets up in Marysville, Washington. Um, so I absolutely had to get the facial primer. This is the best primer. I like it better than MAC. And I'm not kidding about that at all. I love this better than the MAC primer. Um, so here's what the box looks like. It's hard candy. I love the designs on this. Skin Perfecting Ultralight Formula. Sheer Envy. Um, it's just, it's a great primer and it makes my skin feel like cashmere. So this is, I mean, I love my MAC primer and I love my NYX primer, but this has been my favorite, you guys. I love it. The eyeshadow duo that I got today was this color and it's uh, number 60 Breakup. And here's what the original tin looks like. And here's what the colors are. I love the duos. And I'll go ahead and show you the pigment on a little swatch it's gorgeous and that's this I mean very gorgeous very pigmented long wearing eyeshadow for six dollars next I wanted to try these really bad and I fell in love with these the only uh, thing was I could not pick a color I was in Walmart for almost two hours because I never go there I haven't been to a Walmart in like 10 years I'm not kidding you guys it's been like 10 years I just don't go to Walmart I'm a total target girl so I you know we don't have any here so um I was in there for like two hours today, but it, the majority of it was picking out one of these dang things, and it's the uh, Hard Candy Eye Def Glitter Shadow, Glitter Eye Shadow, and here's what it looks like. They have like, I think, six or eight different colors. I have to show you how this stuff goes on, so it's a non-crease shadow, and it comes with a wand with a doe foot applicator, and here's the color. This stuff, you guys, is incredible. I cannot wait to use it. It is so nice. You can control if it goes on this thick. You can thin it out. It is just really cool. And again, it says no creases. So this is only, I think, like $6. Very, very exciting. But they had like a hot pink. They had one called Liar, which I love that one. That one was like, oh my goodness. Loved it. Okay, next I got the uh, Hard Candy Plumping Serum. And it's a volumizing lip gloss. And this one is in Uptown Girl. And again, they had so many there. And I really could not choose. I had like five different ones. But I was like, let me just get one. See how it is. So I got that. The next lip gloss I got is, and this is one of their new products. It's called Glossaholic Chill Out. There's two different scents that they had. And it smells amazing. And what it is, it has a mood enhancing elixir inside. And it's the Glossaholic Chill Out. They have other Glossaholics, but these two, they have like the vanilla and the coffee. Um, and they're to either help energize you or to help chill you out a bit. And it's a glitter gloss, and I love it. The next thing that I got from Hard Candy was the Thousand Lashes Midnight Black Noir, and it's a fiberized lash weave mascara. So that's what that looks like. And I really can't wait to try this. I was really hesitant because you guys know I do not stray from Lancome uh, Hypnose Drama Mascara. That is my all-time favorite mascara. And then I got the Hard Candy Just Face It Featherweight Formula uh, One Step Foundation. And I just figured, you know, okay, it's, it's foundation. You know, they have a foundation line. That's great. But the back says... Flawless Skin in a Flash One Step Foundation is your primer, concealer, foundation, and powder in one. Leaves skin shine-free and natural looking. 
So I will have to do a review on this, you guys, and I promise you that I will. And my color is 364 Medium Tan, and that's what that looks like. So the last hard candy thing I got is the Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette. And I have been wanting this for so long, and I love it. It's got, you know, the green corrector, got different, you know, uh, here's your correctors right here. You've got the red one, the yellow, and the green, and then here are your concealers right here. So I'm really excited. So that was that for Walmart. So anyways, then I went to the outlet store. The, the Marysville outlets are huge. We have Juicy Couture. We have um, CCO, which I was disappointed with. It was my first time going and wasn't a big fan. Um, I love it, but this one is just really small, so I was disappointed. Um, and they were out of, like, everything. So the first one I got is this one, which I think I'm going to be putting away for my birthday. Um, and what it is, it has a strap, so you wear it. It's like a sling pouch, and it's leather, and it's their original C's because, as you guys know, I cannot stand the new C's, so I love the old C's. I am super adamant about that. I love this sling pouch. It's got this really cute silver button just right there, and it has this nice little zip pull compartment. Oh, hold on. There we go, here, really roomy, and it has, of course, the little coach emblem, and then I have to, when I find a bag I like, I have to get doubles, <laughs> so I got another in uh, brown, same straps, same handle straps, um, you know, same little zip compartment, and it has the same button and I always love the coach bags it's always you know part of why I love to go because I collect the actual shopping bags as well in the boxes and that's about it you guys because we are running out of time so thank you so much for watching my haul I had a lot of fun buying all this stuff as you can guess and I am so excited to have gotten to share it with you guys so I would love to see your favorite purchases from the last couple of days last couple of weeks leave it in a video response below or let me know what your favorite purchase was that you got in the last couple of weeks also remember I went to the coach outlet and once I get up to 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing a big coach giveaway. And you just might be the winner of it. So please spread the word that we need 500 subscribers for Crystal Seattle TV in order to win something from coach. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you're having a wonderful Friday. Take care.